All right, we are back here at the Great American Bash, Philadelphia Freedom, coming to you from the Civic Center in Philadelphia on this July 23rd, and we are ready for our first of two championship matches. Here we have the World Television Champion, Mike Rotunda, with the Varsity Club in tow. Kevin Sullivan, the Games Master, and Rick Steiner taking on Sting. They've had previous bouts during the Great American Bash, and we have featured this particular title match on this card here at Philadelphia Freedom. And we are ready to go back to the arena and momentarily for the NWA World Television Championship matchup between Mike Rotunda and Rick Steiner, of course. I'm sorry, Mike Rotunda and Sting Steiner at ringside. I don't know what he's doing out there, but I guess we'll find out. I'm sure nothing more than to interfere in this match. Of course, the devious games master Kevin Sullivan always out there by the side of Mike Rotunda, the, I guess you would say, the premier member of the Varsity Club. And, of course, the Stinger off a U.S. championship match in Atlantic City against Barry Windham, and now right back here against Mike Rotunda. And this should be a classic. As I said, they have faced each other on other occasions. And this one right here should be a classic. And we're going to go back to the arena. As you see, we are live from the Philadelphia Civic Center and we are ready for the challenger. see the NWA World Television Championship belt about to be put on the line. And introducing first the challenger out of Venice Beach, California. Weighing in tonight at 260 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sting. And his opponent from Syracuse, New York, weighing 245 pounds, accompanied by Games Master Kevin Sullivan and Rick Steiner. Ladies and gentlemen, the world television champion, Mike Rotunda. One fall, 15 minute time limit. All right, everyone. You see the uh, referee now displaying and showing Sting the television championship belt and now displaying it to the overflow crowd here at the Civic Center in Philadelphia. 
This our first of two championship matches, as I mentioned. And we are ready. World Television Championship now on the line. The bell is going. We are underway. Collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring. Sting now with the early advantage with the armbar. Sting, of course, has the power advantage here over Rotunda. As now he takes Rotunda down to one knee with an armbar. Sting, of course, obviously has the power advantage. Rotunda, of course, a obviously an All-American wrestler from Syracuse University. Hence the singlet. Former two-sport star at Syracuse playing football and wrestled. And Stinger now with the champion up in the air with a vertical suplex. And Rotunda doing some very, well, unamateur-like moves with the uh, rake of the eyes. And now Rotunda with the advantage. Waist lock go behind and now the takedown. Rotunda now with the advantage with a side headlock and now Sting right in the face with a right hand. These two are extremely well matched. And every time they've gotten together, they have certainly put on some very stellar matches. And this one right here in the Civic Center, very proud to bring this to you as part of the great American bash. Philadelphia Freedom is now Rotunda now back Sting into the ropes. Rotunda down. Goes for the hip lock takeover. No, Sting reversed it and takes Rotunda down. Sting now doing the right thing, going right after Rotunda, the champion. Sting now with a uh, nerve hold on that trapezius muscle. He's got the power to do that, but Rotunda very resourceful, trips him up. Rotunda going out to the camp of his teammates out there, and you got to watch out for... Sullivan and Steiner, who really are you know, looking a little bit too stoic right now, a little bit too reserved. And Rotunda with that Dory Funk Jr. like uppercut, that European forearm. This thing fires back with the right hand, left hand, excuse me. Down into the midsection now. And Rotunda goes right after the man with some right hands on that Fez press. Rotunda. Well, Kind of taunting the stinger. And Rotunda, double axe angle right up the second rope. Down for the lateral press. Not even a one count. The strategy in this one for Rotunda is to get the stronger man off his feet. I'm sure he'll probably try to do that as this match progresses. And a counter. Looked like Sting was going for a clothesline, but Rotunda down him with that back body drop. We mentioned Stinger, the stronger the two, and Rotunda would be in his benefit to really keep Sting down on the mat, negate the power, and negate the quickness advantage. We know that Stinger's got some hops. He could easily dunk a basketball. There's no doubt about that. Stinger now firing back here as he counters out of that maneuver. Rotunda who lashes out at Sting, and Sting not registering there. He took those shots and fired right back with that snapmare takeover. And Nels with an elbow to the top of the head. Rotunda. Back body drop. Should have a counter. There again, that European like forearm. Rotunda stomping away at Sting in the corner. Sting flashes out. And a running DDT on Rotunda takes the champion down. And Sting now with a side headlock, and there you look at the agility of the man from Venice Beach, California, Sting. The challenger for the television championship, and it could be by the end of this match, we could be talking about Sting being the champion. Oh, and a clothesline takes Stinger over the top. And they're out on the floor here in the Civic Center, and with the Varsity Club contingent lurking nearby, you certainly have to keep an eye on those as Sting goes right into the steps. Watch out for Sullivan. I don't trust him. And nor should Sting as he goes right after Sting as he picks him up. Now, we have seen Sullivan get involved in his men's matches before and wind up getting the boot by the officials. And Rotunda cuts him off as he just kicks him right in the chest. 
And down goes Sting. Lateral press two. Sting powers out. Rotunda, I got to say, so far this great American bash, he has been the most valuable player. He has defended that title just about every event that we've had and has come back the winner, or at least come out the champion. As Sting yells out to his people. And now squashes Rotunda in the corner. Sting now. Nope, Rotunda scoops him up. Schoolboy pin rolls him up. One, two. No, Sting powers out. Rotunda stomping away at the man. Trying to keep Sting down, but he picks him up. You know that Rotunda's finishing maneuver is the double arm suplex. At some point, you got to figure he'll probably go for it. Rotunda now hits Stinger. Into the ropes, knee right to the bread basket. And now with a side Russian leg sweep, we have not seen him use that particular offensive maneuver before. At least not with any kind of effectiveness. Down for the lateral press, and Sting powers out again. Rotunda looked like he was going for an Irish whip, but Sting countered. Rotunda on the ropes, and now Sting going for a suplex. And he nails him with it. Sting down for the cover. No, oh, barely, barely a one count. Sting did the right thing, though. He went for the pin after that vertical suplex, and now a wear down maneuver here is Rotunda. Looks like he's coming out of this. And he does. He goes right to the midsection. Oh, and he nails Sting with that left handed clothesline. He did not hook the leg this time. I don't know if he's going to hold him, though. No. You got to negate that lower body strength as strong as Sting is in his upper body. He sure has some powerful legs. As again, he has. He can easily get some vertical leaps to dunk a basketball. And he definitely has those power in those legs. And there is, again, that European forearm that floors the challenger. Down for the cover. And only a one count if Sting powers out. Much to my surprise, the members of the varsity club, Sullivan and Steiner at ringside, are extremely quiet. No interference thus far, but they are cheering their man on in the ring. Irish whipping and a big elbow, but it was countered by Sting. He blocked it, and Sting going for the Scorpion. This might be it. This could be it here. This could be it. Rotunda's fighting it. He might still have some left, and he, he's actually breaking it. Unbelievable. And Rotunda fires back with a clothesline. Even the Varsity Club has a small contingent of fans here in the crowd. Power drive elbow. Down for the cover again. Once again, Rotunda did not hook the leg. And Stain once again powers out. Very powerful weapon for Rotunda, that European forearm. And there's that big elbow that he had missed earlier. Now he connects with it. Down for the press. And Sting just barely got that right shoulder up off the canvas. Rotunda just whips Sting over the top rope, down onto the floor here in the Civic Center. You get out here on the floor with the Varsity Club, much like the Four Horsemen, you're in no man's land. Rotunda deviating from his normal technical style, taking it to the street, so to speak. And a back body drop on the floor. And Rotunda with a waist lock takedown right on the floor, and Sting's head just bounces off the floor. Oh, he nails Sting in the face. Into the barricade. They're up to seven. Oh, and they drop Sting right over the top. Right on that barricade. Sting now. Oh, no. Rotunda. Double arm suplex. 
This might well be it. I don't know what happened. And that was indeed a two count. Here it comes again. Double arm suplex, and that time Sting's legs hit the ropes. Once again, down for the pin. Rotunda says that's not enough. He wants to inflict more punishment. Once again, and another double arm suplex, and this time Sting's leg whiplashed against that rope again. Wait a minute, Rotunda. Rotunda, he's got his feet on the rope. His feet are on the ropes. The ref's counting, he doesn't see it. But Rotunda will get the victory. The referee did not see the legs on the rope. And Rotunda will retain the championship, I would say, under questionable circumstances. But what a match nonetheless. What a contest here in Philadelphia at the Civic Center. As part of the Great American Bash, we saw several near falls in this match. Several roll-ups. Sting had Rotunda trapped in the scorpion. He got out of that. Got out of that pinfall there. We saw a side Russian leg sweep. We saw several double arm suplexes. The last one he let him up from, but he didn't let him up from this one. And this time, Rotunda, there you see. And the referee obviously did not see that. He has counted the pinfall. And your winner, again, under questionable circumstances, and still world television champion, Mike Rotunda of the Varsity Club. This thing has nothing to be ashamed of. That could have gone either way. But unfortunately, it was the feet on the ropes that helped Rotunda attain victory here. Your winner, still the TV champion, Mike Rotunda.